Hey, what's up dudes? It's Pat and welcome back to another video and today we are checking out 10 things you did not know about gaming with Jen. So yesterday I put the video up about myself. You guys loved it. You wanted to hear 10 things about Jen. So I talked to her about it. She helped me come up with some really good ideas. Things you had no idea about her. I think you guys are really going to enjoy this. It's going to be so fun. So guys, thank you for all the support yesterday on my video. And if you are new to the channel, definitely smash that subscribe button. That would be amazing. Let me know if you did by commenting down below. And I will comment to as many of you as I possibly can. Because I truly appreciate all the support from every single one of you. And I will be commenting to other people as well so don't worry about that but yeah let's get started here number 10 on the list jen actually has a brother named john i don't think she's ever mentioned him in a video probably because growing up they weren't very close he is way older than her and actually he was in the army and he went to iraq but when he was in germany he was going for a run he was just running down the street exercising one morning and someone went up to him and actually stabbed him which is absolutely insane but don't worry her brother is perfectly fine guys Number nine, you've seen Jen in vlogs before, and one thing you would have no idea about by looking at her is she actually does wear glasses. I don't think she's ever worn any in a vlog. Usually she just puts on contacts, and the reason she has so bad of eyesight, we don't know this for sure, but when she was younger, she fell in the sand. She was like in a sandbox, she fell face first. And she got sand in her eyes, and she actually had to go to the hospital to get it removed. So that might have hurt her eyesight, and she does wear glasses on occasion, but usually she's actually wearing contacts. Number eight on the list is actually pretty interesting, because we know me and Jen as gamers. What we do for a living is we play video games, we post the content on YouTube to entertain you guys. But before that, we both did go to college, and I know I've mentioned this in videos many, many times. Most of you probably already know we graduated, we have degrees, but you're probably wondering, what did Jen actually want to be, and what did she want to do for a career? So, while she was in high school, for years, she was planning on becoming a nurse when she went to college, but once we got there, she switched her major completely. We both went to psychology, which was a really interesting degree, by the way, and it was a ton of fun, but... She could not become a nurse because she was so grossed out by some of the things, which is actually going to be explained in another one of the things you don't know about Jen. Number seven on the list. So why couldn't Jen become a nurse? It is because she is completely freaked out by blood. When Jen sees blood, if it's her own, if it's somebody else's, it just makes her feel horrible. I know that a lot of people are like this. There's probably people down in the comments right now that feel exactly the same way. And you really can't be a nurse if you can't handle blood. One thing they do is they take blood from people, and that would be a really bad thing to be if you can't handle it. So the thing is, Jen could not handle blood so bad that once she went to get a blood test, and I think this is the only time she's ever gotten a blood test in her life, and she went to look over at them taking the blood, you know, she just peeked over there, and she actually passed out in the place. So if she was going to be a nurse, that would definitely not work out. Whenever she has to give someone blood, she just passes out, so that would not have been a good career for her. Number seven on the list. So as you guys know, we have had plenty of pets. I've mentioned them all the time. But when Jen was younger, she actually had a dog. I've never had a dog before, but Jen had a dog before she had cats. And here's the problem. His name was Benjamin and he was a Yorkie, but apparently he used to pee on Jen's mom all the time. Whenever he had to go to the bathroom, he would go up to Jen's mom and he would pee on her. That I know that sounds ridiculous and it really is. Um, I obviously didn't know Jen when this was happening. She told me about this. But they had to get rid of her dog because he kept peeing on her mom. So her mom got rid of the dog. So sadly, Jen did not really have a dog for very long in her life. But that is definitely something that you did not know about Jen. Number five on the list, Jen is super claustrophobic. She hates tight spaces. And this is actually an interesting thing. If I go to hug her and I don't let go, give her a bear hug, one of those tight, crazy hugs, she hates it. She starts freaking out. She does not like being in tight spaces. If I take a blanket and we're in bed and I put it over both of us, she will start freaking out. She cannot stay under there. Something about it. She cannot be in like really tight places. It bothers her so much. And I was talking to her about it today because I was wondering like what I could tell people about this. And she said when she was younger, she was playing out in the snow making an igloo and it collapsed. The snow fell on top of her and she was trapped underneath it and she freaked out so bad and there's been a bunch of occurrences like this in her life and it makes it so she absolutely hates all tight spaces. Number four on the list probably won't surprise you guys, but Jen is super shy like me. I know I mentioned in the video yesterday that I am really shy 
It really has bothered me most of my life, but Jen also has social anxiety. But over time, hers has gotten so much better. She's not quite as bad as me. But the thing is, when she makes phone calls, she still gets nervous about it. And what she does, and I'd actually recommend doing this if you have problems too, guys. She writes down exactly what she's going to say on a piece of paper. So that way, there's no pressure when they're talking to her. She knows exactly what she could say next to them. And this is only with people she doesn't know. She has to make like a call for like a bill or for something like that. Not if she's calling her parents, obviously. But yeah, she definitely has some social anxiety. But guys, like I mentioned, if you see us in public, that is completely fine. You should come up to us. Definitely say hi. Get a picture. Get an autograph. That would be absolutely amazing. We both are fine in situations like that. But in front of giant groups, it is not good. In college, we both completely avoided going in front of large groups in front of the classroom or anything like that. Number three on the list. So this one is about me and Jen. So as you guys know, I mentioned in the video yesterday that Jen was not my first girlfriend. I had a bunch of really long relationships before that. But Jen is a couple years younger than me. And the interesting thing is I am the first boyfriend Jen has ever had. She's never been in a relationship other than me, which is insane considering we're married now. We're gonna spend the rest of our lives together. We love each other so much. So I thought you guys should know she has never been in another relationship and I was actually her first boyfriend. And interestingly enough, I didn't know this. When I started dating her, I had absolutely no idea. She did not want to tell me. And about a year later, she actually went up to me and she was like, you know, you're the first boyfriend I've ever had. I was literally so surprised. I had no idea, but I thought that was actually really cool. Number two on the list. So this one, a couple of people might know about. I know Jen made a vlog once where she was flexing and you guys can see that she actually is in really, really good shape. So, but I have noticed in a lot of my like exercise type videos, people don't think that Jen exercises like I do. But the truth is Jen does lift weights and she runs and she does this almost as much as I do. And the thing is, Jen has squatted 225 pounds, and she is super strong, exercises all the time. And truthfully, she's probably stronger than 99% of people down in the comments right now. So I thought that was an interesting thing about Jen. You wouldn't know just looking at her that she exercises all the time because she's always wearing, like, dresses and stuff like that. She doesn't dress like me with, like, sleeveless shirts on. You wouldn't know that she's in super good shape, but she exercises almost every single day of the week. She eats super healthy, and she's in amazing shape. She's really quick and she's really strong. All right, number one, guys, saving the best one for last. So as almost everyone knows at this point, Jen does have a YouTube channel. Every once in a while, someone's like, wait, Jen's got a YouTube channel? And they check it out and they subscribe. But we all know Jen as Gaming with Jen or Super Girly Gamer, but that was not her first YouTube channel. Jen actually has another YouTube channel called Fashion by Jen. So this was a fashion slash beauty channel where she would post like videos of her outfits. And I remember because I was actually recording these videos for her and there was like makeup tutorials and stuff like that. But at this point, she actually ended up deleting those videos probably a few years ago. I kind of wish she didn't because it would be interesting to like look back on those. But she does have another channel. If you search Fashion by Jen, you will find her channel. Right now, she has about 1,000 subscribers, a little bit more than that. She got all those from, you know, fashion and beauty videos. And at this point, I think if she kept doing it, she definitely could have gotten like hundreds of thousands of subscribers. She only probably posted maybe like... 10 or 15 videos on that channel it actually got a decent amount of subscribers considering at that time i really didn't have very many subscribers i probably had 50,000 subscribers when jen had about a thousand and things have changed so much i think if she kept posting on it she probably would have maybe even a million subscribers but at this point guys things have obviously changed she's got gaming with jen she has over 2 million subscribers which is absolutely amazing Anyways, dudes, I hope you learned some new things about Jen. Most of this stuff you would have no idea. Even if you've been a fan for a super long time, very little of this has ever been mentioned, especially that thing about Jen's other channel. I never see anyone go over to that channel and subscribe at this point. It's been so long. It was back when my channel was brand new that she had that. And yeah, most people don't know she lifts weights either. I thought this was some really cool stuff you could learn about Jen. And guys, I do have an idea for another video. There are some other things about us that I didn't mention in this. I think what I want to do is I want to come up with five embarrassing things you just don't know about us. There's a couple really cool ones I saved. I didn't want to put in this video since I already had 10 things to list. But this one would be so interesting. 
so weird. A couple things I probably don't want to mention, but I think it would be really cool. I think you guys would enjoy it. But for today, guys, that is about all there is to show. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely crush that like button and punch that subscribe button in the face. That would be absolutely amazing, guys. And if you're new here, definitely leave a comment down below. I'll comment to as many of you as I possibly can. And once again, thank you everyone for all your support. It's been awesome.